Years before the unrest in Egypt and Syria, turmoil swept Iraq following a U.S.-led invasion that toppled Saddam Hussein. A period of sectarian violence replaced his dictatorship. Suffering became an everyday struggle for the nation's Christians. Christians normally are edu educated to live in freedom and peace. And uh, where there is no freedom, no peace, they live and, uh, uh, you know, they look for a, a shelter to educate uh, their children and also to live out their faith. Numbers for the centuries old Chaldean Catholic Church explain just how bad things have deteriorated. In 1987, they claimed over 1.2 million adherents. Today, only 500,000 remain. The worst part is those numbers continue dropping. The majority left, and we feel much more vulnerable now. But we still hope that the situation will change and security, security and stability will come back. But until that happens, Patriarch Louis Sacco said his church and many other smaller congregations throughout the Middle East must fend for themselves. Recently, the Patriarch reached out to his Orthodox counterpart, Mar Dinka IV, Patriarch of the Assyrian Church of the East. He proposed a merger of their two churches, which traced their roots to Iraq. It would mean the Assyrian Church would enter into communion with Rome. If we uh, are still isolated, uh, just like small churches, we are uh, really incapable to do anything. And we are incapable. So we are poor churches, but when we are reunited all together, then we will be a strong church and we will have an impact. The Assyrian Patriarch has welcomed increased dialogue between their two churches, but a merger may not be on the horizon anytime soon. But for Patriarch Sacco, greater cooperation is necessary for their church's survival. He also welcomes the creation of a Christian lobby group to analyze their situation and come up with solutions to survive the current crisis.